So guys, I just want to send this quick um, message right before the video starts. We fucking did it, guys. We hit the goal. <sighs> this is recorded March 31st. I'm not sure if I posted it that same day or if it was posted April 1st. So yeah, but if you guys see this up count, we did it. We did it. We reached our goal. <laughs> I know I already said that like three times, but we hit 100 subscribers by the end of the month. And oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'll make sure to put out more and more content for you guys. Even better content, you know, you know, more and more and more. And we'll be growing from here on out. We'll be growing. I promise you that. But anyways, we'll get into the video. Peace. What is up, swankies and swaggers? It's your boy, Swanky Swag. You guys already know. Judging by the title of the video, you guys know what this video is about. Gideon just got signed to Happy Punch Promotion. And that is big. That is really big. And I've been saying this. I've, I, I've been saying it to anybody in the YouTube boxing Discord server watching this. Bro, I've been saying this. We need Gideon in the ring. And it's happening. It's happening. We're getting him in the ring. To be signed by Happy Punch. Now that... <laughs> That, one, that came out of nowhere. But be honest, to be honest, damn. But to be honest, oh, that's big. I already said that though. Versus signed Dean the Great, then they signed Fight Lounge, and now Gideon. That's just amazing. But honestly, that's enough of that. Let's get right into the video. So I just want to start by saying two things. When and who he's gonna fight. To be honest, it's a little hard. But we know a little bit of both, kind of. We know when he wants to fight and who he wants to fight. Again, in a way. Who, when he wants to fight, he just wants to fight on the case I event. I mean, shit, who doesn't want to fight on the case I event? Like, come on now. <laughs> I think Dean the Grey also wants to fight on it too, so that just leaves, that already gives us ideas of who could be on the event. That already gives a lot of buys, a lot. You know, there's going to be a lot of people who just watch Gideon and want to watch, going to want to watch the event just for Gideon. That's going to be amazing. Of course, there's going to be people who want to watch KSI with the rest of the event, but Gideon, that's what I'm saying. Like that, that would be a big, a big addition to the card. Currently, we don't know who's on it besides, well, KSI, but we already know it's going to be a big card. If any of this happens, KSI could sign something with Happy Punch to make a KSI X Happy Punch promotion, not promotion, a KSI X Happy Punch event. It's either that or Happy Punch makes their own event. I don't know when, but that could happen too. But I'll tell you the other thing, his opponent. I mean, it's hard to narrow it down, to be honest, considering he said it on, I think, Drama Alert it was, that he wants to fight a Twitch streamer. If you guys saw Keemstar's Twitter, he was like, huge influencer, what's the box? Can't wait to reveal it. I'm sorry, bro. I'm, I'm cock blocking. It's me. Like, it's me. It's me. I want to box, y'all. I want to box, but I want to knock it out. I want to knock it out and get it. I want to get on the KSI undercard and knock it for y'all, bro. So... I need you guys to like, who, who do you guys think I should fight? Me personally, this is what I want to do. I want to fight somebody from Twitch. I want to fight somebody from Twitch and I want to make an agreement with Twitch. If I win, they have to unban me. If I win, they have to unban me. But if I lose, I'll be banned forever. Never come back. Winner takes all. Bring your best, Twitch. Bro, I feel like that is... The way to go. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro, these niggas. And that's how we got. He just wanted to fight somebody on Twitch. So that if he wins, you know, he gets back on Twitch, you know. They unban him. If he doesn't, he's just forever banned. And he'll let it go. But damn. I'm gonna be honest, I have my own picks. But I'm not gonna say, you know, speed. I'm not gonna say Tyrone. <laughs> not Danny Duncan. Those are boring. Those are boring. I thought about my own three people. Well, three. How do I put this? All right, guys, I had a mess of brain fart. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but yeah, I had my own three um sections of who he could fight. 
my first one being the Twitch streamer. That one was the hardest, I'm going to be honest, because there's not that much Twitch streamers that I know that he's either not friends with them or just they don't want to box. And to be honest, the only one I could really think about is Tifu, just because he's one of the big people on the platform. And also, I'm pretty sure he went to box Ninja one time, so <laughs> I could be wrong, though. No, no, yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. I'm pretty sure he did. Twitch was the hardest, to be honest. I want to go by three categories. Twitch, somebody who's already in the YouTube boxing game, just some random as fuck. <laughs> but yeah, Twitch, I would say those two. Again, just because JD Young also mentioned on Drama Lord that he didn't want nobody easy. He wants somebody that's going to be a challenge and somebody who's gonna, that's going to make the fight great. And I think Tifu would make it a challenge, to be honest. I've, I think they had they showed a clip of him boxing before and he's built. So why the fuck not? <laughs> now, the people already in the game. That one wasn't too hard, but it was a little hard to narrow it down. And I narrowed it down to two people. Saul Poppy and Josh Bruckner. Saul Poppy's just proved that he was one of the best on the Showstar event, so why not? Get somebody who's really good just to fight. Gideon. If Gideon wins and he shows that he trained, put his heart and soul into it to fight. And if he loses, like, it was the Saul Poppy. Like, that just adds another win to him. But again, I want to see Gideon win, though. <laughs> another... Somebody who's already in the game who actually struggles to get a couple fights. Who's only had one is Josh Bruckner. Again, I already said that. That's my case though. He struggles to get fights. I'm pretty sure you said you'd be down to fight Slim, but that's a big weight difference, so I'm gonna be honest. I think Slim's around 170. Josh Bruckner's roughly he's at cruiserweight. He's around 190, 200. And I'm pretty sure him and Gideon will, could meet properly. And again, also around the same height that i would enjoy to watch to be honest i would love to watch that whether it's on the ksi event or somewhere else that's a really good fight that i think would be really good josh bruckner versus gideon i don't think it'd be bad to be honest i don't think it'd be bad it would be a tough fight for gideon because josh bruckner has generally a really good skill just has trouble finding an opponent so if gideon really really wants a good opponent he can get him now on to just somebody random as fuck. <laughs> I was just going to say Randolph. It may not be the hardest fight for Gideon, but Randolph also wants to be in the KSI event. So why not put two and two together? Gideon wants to be in the event. Randolph wants to be on the event. Both don't really, you know, have anybody specific to fight. Other than Gideon, of course, wanting a Twitch streamer, which I'm going to be honest, is hard. But if he managed to get one, props to him. Randolph already called out his own people. He said Constantine, he said Salt Poppy, and Hala Hong, which I believe two responded to, which was Salt Poppy and Hala Hong. One said both of them were down. But again, Gideon versus Randolph, in my opinion, doesn't sound that bad. <laughs> again, I said I was going to pick somebody random, and I picked somebody random. He's not in the game yet, he wants to box. Oh, shit, come on. Both want to be on the KSI event. It's 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 a lot more intriguing than you guys think. I'm be honest. <laughs> it's a fight that I wouldn't mind seeing, to be honest. And again, it's on an even playing field. Both haven't fought, like, I, in my opinion. But you, I want you guys to let me know in the comments who you guys want to see JD on the fight. Whether it's a Twitch streamer, just somebody else who wants to fight, or somebody who's already fought before. I think whoever he fights, it's gonna be a great fight. But yeah, I don't got anything else much to say other than, hey, if Gideon somehow runs across this, will I get a free bra dog hoodie? I don't know. <laughs> but I do hope that some people see this video and let me know what you guys think of it. Give me your own opinion, you know? Do you guys agree with what I said? Who do you guys think he's going to fight? Who do you guys want to see him fight? Other than that, it's your boy Swanky Swag. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.